about injustice amid imminent danger. Today I will be giving you information on mega Wiley Everett. I will make three points about mega Everett. First, I will discuss his background. Then I will move on to his role in civil rights and the reopening of his murder case. And finally, I will discuss the naming of his home as a National Historical Landmark. So let me begin by giving you information on Mega Everett's background. Mega Wiley Everett was born in Decatur, Mississippi, and he served in the military. He attended an HBCU All Point State University which is located in Lawrence, Mississippi. He was married to Merle Everett, and they had three children, two boys and one girl. Now, let's discuss his involvement in the civil rights movement, and then the reopening of his murder case. According to Brent Reisel, the author of Mississippi Mortal, Ellis was not drawn to the civil rights movement by religion. He was drawn to the movement by the love for his state. And he always felt that there was an opportunity for change in the state of Mississippi. Ever served as field director for the NAACP state branch of Mississippi. And had, as his civil rights career evolved, he became involved and marches and against segregation and inequality. Because of Mega Evers' affiliation with the service, when he was murdered, he was given the opportunity to be buried in Arlington National Cemetery. After 31 years, the murder case of Mega Evers was reopened. Two failed convictions were made for Byron D. Lee Beckwith, which he was finally convicted and served in state penitentiary in Tarkson, where he died shortly after. According to Benjamin Hooks, the executive director of the NAACP, in an article in Ebony Magazine, he stated that if we forget Mega, we will forget the sacrifices that were made for our freedom. Now I've talked to you about Mega Nervous life. I went on to discuss his involvement in civil rights and the reopening of his murder case. Now I will discuss the naming of his home as a National Historical Landmark. In an article written in NAACP Today, Mega Elvis Home received a plaque to name it a National Historical Landmark. Mega Elvis was murdered at his home in his driveway while his children and wife looked on. Naming the home as a National Historical Landmark was a first in Mississippi. Inside of the home is a small museum, which I had the opportunity to visit. I can tell you that there were items as well as furniture that were placed verbatim to the way that they were when the Everest occupied the home. I can also tell you that many nights the Everest slept on the floor because of the many death threats that they received. On the night that Mega Everest was murdered, the bullet that penetrated Mega Everest entered the door and, and hit a refrigerator, which you would see in the museum. To this day, there is bloodshed still in the concrete in the driveway where Mega Everest took his last breath. I spoke to you about Mega's background, I spoke to you about his
his involvement in civil rights, the reopening of his murder case. Then I went on and finally discussed the naming of his home as a National Historical Landmark. Mega ever believed in equality and justice for all people. He was driven by love, the love for his state and country, even in the face of death. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Five minutes, Colonel.